Hello, Hockington Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm Michael Hyman, your host for this expo. Welcome to Tuesday. We got a lot going on today, so let's start with our middle school update. Take it away, Mr. Keller. Thank you, Michael. What a wonderful week last week. The weather was a throwback to summer, and we held the harvest party celebrating our new HMS mission statement. Next week, Mrs. Grady will speak more about that in our announcements. Congratulations to all the winners of the flag football tournaments, and thank you to the referees, fans, and of course, Mr. Masha for organizing the entire thing. Last week, uh, excuse me, this week, most of our grade six students and staff are at Nature's Classroom. At the end of last week, Mrs. Ben Benick, Mrs. Grady, and I met with grade seven students on ways that we can improve our school. As you hopefully know, we are constantly looking for ways to improve HMS, and we covered a lot of ground at that meeting. From talking about lockers, to too many clubs on Wednesdays, to Google calendars, to Chromebooks. Next week, we'll roll out a way for all of you to provide your feedback to us for ways that we can improve HMS together. Finally, on Thursday, I met with a group of grade eight parents, and on Friday, a group of grade eight students, where we discussed our end of year grade eight field trip. We're very close to naming our destination, and no, contrary to popular opinion, it is not to Keefe Tech. We're going to Keefe Tech, but not as our field trip. Have a great week, and back to you, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Keller. And now to just mix things up, and let's go into the question of the day. This week's question, how would you describe middle school in three words? Challenging, self-searching, and fun. Fun, dangerous, and the worst way to die. Cool. Fun. Exciting. Really fun elevators. Fun, hard, and food. So much fun. Fun, exciting, and ever-changing. Fun, helpful, and fun. Use one word. Stress, stress, and stress. Language, drama, music. Mr. Keller, good. Very, very interesting. 20-minute lunch. Ms. Brooks, lunch and fun. fun! Next up, we are bringing you another club interview. This week, we will take a look at the History Club. 150 to 2.30, and every other Wednesday in Mrs. Economo's room. So, so this year we're going to be covering, we've, we've done um, Syrian War, we're going to be doing Norwegian co Viking Conquest, and we're going to cover like World War II, one and two maybe. Anyone can come. Some activities we do is um, projects, which are really fun because you get to work with partners and you get to do pretty much what you want. I wanted to learn more that wasn't shown in sixth grade curriculum. And from my experience, Mrs. Economo is a very good history teacher, and she tries to cover the different topics that the students like. So I joined, like, and, and I, it, it was really fun because they covered a lot of awesome topics that were really interesting. Uh, I joined History Club because I like to learn about history. I joined because I want to learn about, uh, I want to learn uh, more about the Egypt. Awesome. Now stop there and learn something interesting. And speaking of interesting, let's see what Mr. Lockwood has in store for us. Good morning and welcome to, well that's just it. We've had fantastic suggestions and thank you all for submitting them. So welcome to today's trivia tidbit. On this day in history, October 25th, 1415, King Henry V of England defeated the French army, the much larger French army, in a famous battle. Known as St. Crispin's Day. This battle was immortalized by William Shakespeare in Act 4, Scene 3, in the life of King Henry V. Thank you, and make it a terrific Tuesday. Remember, be kind to each other. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lockwood. Let's move on to our important announcement from Community Club. Hi, and welcome to Socktober! Want to know what Socktober is? Yeah, I do. Oh, you mean me. Socktober is an initiative where you donate socks and other necessities to your local homeless shelter. All you have to do are these three simple steps. One. Donate some warm socks and any other articles of clothing, such as scarves or hats. Two, drop them off outside the main office. Three, feel good about yourself. Food is greatly appreciated, too. Help community help others. Yay! Wait, you're not until next month. Get away. 
and now we have to come. Have you seen this? Last week's winner was Joe Bognet. Congrats. Stop by the HMS TV studio to pick up your prize. For the rest of you, keep looking. Before you find the location, you need to find the image. But that's the easy part. Visit hcams.tv, HMS Studio, and you will see this week's photo. And then send us an email telling us where it is and by Monday. And you could win a prize. Good luck. Now, if you see Pierre Doulos or Craig Sanaz, you know what to do, right? Have a, wish him a happy birthday. On behalf of everyone here, we'll see you next week with more stuff. Now, get out there and study hard!